Thank you. Thank you all very much. Thank you, Issa, I have to say thank you. You, you have inspired me since the moment you showed up. You have rearranged the way we see ourselves as women of color on television and in the world. And I thank you from my heart. And thank you for being here for me tonight. Thank you. And thank you to the Critics' Choice um, and see her for this wonderful honor tonight. You know, the first time I read the script for Bruise, which was my directorial debut, I realized that it wasn't written for someone that looked like me. So I went to the producers and I said, why not me? Why can't it be a black woman? They said, why not? Later on, they told me, now go find a director. And then finally, I summoned the courage to say, why not me? <laughs> they said, why not? And then finally, when the film came out, I got the courage to ask someone what he thought of the movie. And he said, I have a hard time watching a woman get battered and beaten. It made me feel uncomfortable. And in that moment, I knew exactly why I had to tell this story. I knew exactly the power of the story because I said, if you had a hard time, if it made you uncomfortable watching that story, imagine being that woman living that story. This is the power of storytelling. It can raise our consciousness and help us think outside of ourselves and our individual circumstance. I realized we truly need to see each other's reality, no matter how uncomfortable it makes us, so that we might stop judging and stop pointing fingers, but rather find compassion and empathy for the others. Now, here's the thing. I've been in the business for 30 years, and I used to think that if I could play a part of a white man, that I was winning. But you know what? Want to know why that didn't work? Because if you didn't know, I'm not a white man. <laughs> so for those roles to work, they would have to be substantially changed. It would have to be written with the reality of my journey in all of its beauty and all of its pain. This is why I am so grateful to be standing and living in this moment where women are standing up and we are telling our own stories. Because you know why? We will write, we will produce, we will direct, and if we're brave enough, we'll star in it all at the same time. We will use our emotional intelligence and we will tell stories that don't fit preconceived notions, no. We will tell stories that see us fully in all our multitudes and contradictions because we are confident and we are scared. We are vulnerable and we are strong. We are beautiful and we are abused. We are everything and all of that and all at the same time. Because if we deny our complexity, then we deny our humanity. We won't always be pretty and we will never be perfect, but what we will be is always honest and true, no matter how uncomfortable that makes you. These are the stories we have to fight to tell, and these are the stories that the world needs to see. So to every little girl who feels unseen and unheard, this is our way of saying to you, we love you and we see you, and you deserve every good thing in this world. Thank you so very much.